pre-camp power rankings for 2024. Mm -hmm. Where do you think the commanders wind up on their power rankings? I've seen it, so I know it's not good. It's not great. Yeah, I mean, I've seen it. The expectations for the commanders, at least in this pre-camp power ranking on ProFootballTalk.com, has them at 29 out of 32 NFL teams. The only teams below them, they have the Panthers at 32. The comment is, wear a raincoat if you plan to be sitting near the owner's box this year. So they're expecting another lean year for Carolina, even though Mm -hmm. it's year two of Bryce Young. Dave Canales comes in to take over as head coach. They may have a few more wins than last year, but everybody's picking them for the bottom of the NFC South. So they're at 32. Number 31, the Patriots. Can Gerard Mayo do anything with a roster that fell apart in recent years? Again, that's probably going to be a multi-year rebuild in New England. Right. It all depends so, on how you know, effective Drake Are they May expecting is. them Correct. to win like three games? The Patriots? I don't know. Two I mean, games? I mean, I mean what, if you have them ranked the that totals? low. The win totals for the Patriots probably four and a half, four and a half. five. Yeah, probably five that, and a half. Probably that four to five range, I'm guessing. Uh, at 30, ProFootballTalk.com has the Cardinals. Says, let's see what they can do with a healthy Kyler Murray. They He's, do add Marvin Harrison Jr. Trey McBride is an up-and-coming uh, young star at tight end. See yeah. if he can build off his second If Kyler half numbers. is healthy, I mean – I'm not, I'm not a huge Kyler guy, but if he's healthy, they're going to be mm-hmm. much better than the 30th worst team. You would think. And then at number 29, they have the Washington Commanders. And the comment is, if Jaden Daniels ends up playing great right away, he'll cover up a lot of flaws. So if you have them ranked 29, that's how you think they're going to be. That means you think they're going to win like four or five games. Right. It's pretty much what he's saying at this point. They have Unless, the second pick in the draft. I don't think it's outrageous. I went to Pro Football Focus. They also did a power ranking. I'm not exactly sure when it came out for 2024. Um, they have them 29th as well. Mm-hmm. And it actually says a very complimentary line about them. It says the commanders did well this offseason, adding linebackers Bobby Wagner and Frankie Louvu, tight end Zach Ertz, running back Austin Eckler. But they still have them 29th. All right. I don't think it's unreasonable now. Can I we bet went through someone the schedule. that will be better than the 29th worst, the, worst record? Yes. Yeah. Can I bet anybody that? No, I mean, I have them going, what, 7 and 10? 8 and we'll 9? We went through the record? If, 25 or better. If they're the 29th worst, <laughs> they're going to be much better, 4 or 5 wins. Yeah. Yeah, that's you're talking about 3, 4, 5 wins. Correct. Because Carolina was 2 last year, and then Arizona was 4. We were 4, right? Patriots were 4. Washington was 4. Yeah. I mean, I I will bet with you just to just to have some action. If you and you're going to you, bet against them. I mean, I'll just so take the other side because it doesn't really affect me one way or the other. Do I, I'll take the I'll take the Commanders getting we'll be, six, six wins or less. Well, we already have one of those bets with you. You we and do? I already have. A bet. I don't even, I don't even yeah. know if we've consummated that. Yeah, Maybe no, we, we have. do. We, we'll think, have to go to the show archivist Valdez. I think, yeah, I think we do. This is the way I look at it. It's like two weeks. Ago. And this may be too simple to to look at the actual projections, but. They had four wins, and their roster sucked last year. Right. And their coaching staff sucked. All right, their roster is much better. I don't know how much better. It's, in my you opinion, significantly suck. better. Mm-hmm. And the coaching staff is a billion times better. Yes. So putting those two mm-hmm. factors together, I would think, yes, they're better than the 29th worst record. Now, now they might end up, end up being 24, 25. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But I don't think they're going to have the fourth worst record. Now, to I look agree. on the bright side. You mentioned coaching and how coaching the coaching will be better. We heard from uh, Jaden Daniels' longtime personal quarterbacks coach. His name is Ryan Porter. He was on John Kahn's podcast recently, and he had nothing but glowing things to say about Jaden Daniels. Here's some audio. Um, I apologize. I said the last thing, but anything else to know about him? Anything else that you think is important to note? No, I just, I mean, buckle up, guys. Get ready for the ride. I think you guys got a special one. You know, I know you guys got a special one. Um, you, you know, every, everything that everybody's saying about him, as far as him being a pro's pro and going in there and and tackling the playbook and, and going to be proactive in his preparation and just a good human being. And, and um, you you guys should be really, really excited. You got, a good, you got a good one. All right, so I didn't know this. Apparently his dad was a DB. So I listened to this when I was driving in. Mm-hmm. His dad was a DB, I guess, in college. 
the, the, he he described him as his dad was a shut down corner. Mm. He says that's kind of where like he inherited the footwork. Like his, yeah. his footwork is just insane. He's never coached a quarterback with footwork like this. Mm-hmm. He said, uh, I think he's been working with him since at least like middle school. He was definitely young, and uh, he's a guy who very early on learned all the footwork, all the drops. All the and this coach is very big on timing, mm-hmm. you know, like Troy Aikman. One, two, three, boom. One, two, three, four, five, boom. Get rid of it. Um, he said that that Jaden can take one play and do five different drops with right. it. Mm-hmm. five different drops and execute the same play. Like he is a super student of the game. He talked about the three D thing or reality headset thingy that Jimmy was talking yep. about. Yep. Um, that. And he went to LSU and he learned all about it. And apparently, the commanders bought the same thing for him. Oh, why oh, wouldn't yeah. you? Why Good. wouldn't yeah. you keep that they learning the process program going? And they're going to keep it going. Totally. And it just totally helps him. He's been using it for two years. Um, make pre-snap reads. See the field. Uh, He's going to know what Raymond James Stadium looks like before he plays there week one. Yeah. <laughs> and has three touchdowns total. I mean, it, it, I mean I don't know what the negatives I don't know what the well, negatives Drabby are. Well, Drabby is specifically – confused because you hear all these raving um, yeah. critiques on JD and how good he is and how good he's going to be and then you see all these power rankings Drabby yeah which and, one is it and then you've got PFT ranking the commanders 29th you've seen they have some no other stuff regard for the organization at all look there there are yeah. exceptions Kyler Murray r- won rookie of the year 2019 the Cardinals won five games mm-hmm. but a lot of times it's like CJ Stroud he comes in dynamite rookie the team's a lot better Justin Herbert comes into the Chargers the, the team is way better if J- if Jaden is who everyone's saying he is, the Commanders are not going to be the fourth worst team in the NFL. No. They're going to be a lot better. Do you I think? They all, well, hold on. Uh, who cares what other people think? What do you think? I still got to be sold a little bit. So you I'm think they're the fourth worst team? You agree no, no, with no, 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 no. But I think they're probably twenty three, twenty two. I think that's fair. I think yeah. they're probably yeah in that range, I maybe twenty four. If they get lucky, and I mean he's, he's got really the Jets. Good, he's got the Jets. Get a little better. He's got the Jets at twenty five. I think. The Jets that's are going to be low. they're going to be better if than twenty five. Rodgers is healthy. That's way too low. But I think that Washington could be better. AFC is t- tough though. AFC is really stacked. He's the Aaron Rodgers. I think Washington could be better than the Giants. Now he's got the Giants just one up on the on the Commanders. But I think they could be better than the uh, the uh, Titans and the Raiders. Giants but, have a spelt coach now. Is he you see Dable? Is he dropping the Bills? Yeah, man, his wife half. So I would probably put something. Washington in that twenty four to twenty six range. Does no one else? No one else find it weird? It's just it's no. just it's just weird. I, you the, find it weird. The, pra- that the are praise is off. The praise is off the charts. I mean, I don't think find, it's weird. Find anything negative, but he still any- has to prove it. Find anything negative anyone has said about him, how he's looked in in camp, how he's uh, any kind of practice that that's been bad or the anything like this. Negatives there hasn't been any negative. The only negatives even coming in were just durability size. That was it. His spindly frame. Oh, I know, but you could say anyone could get injured at any time. I think the so I just count. I'm so saying, I just count but that, that was the criticism. It's hard but to find negatives when he looks good in the in the, in the mini camps. I know, but that, but that's what defense. But that's whatever. That's what everyone. Or that's what Drab's saying is that if he if all of a sudden if he's the guy, the the team has got to has got to be better than the fourth worst in the NFL. You would. So you I, would can't, agree, you, I would agree. It's with almost that. like you can't have one well, without the other. That, well, I think that Mike is just crazy. To have them twenty. Well, so Mike, is PFF Mike. crazy? Yes. Is CBS is CBS crazy? Yes. So everyone's crazy. If they got to see them it. As the fourth the, the, worst team going in. I think you're just on the wrong side. I of think it. they just got to see it. You're just on the is wrong it, side of it. Yes. There's a lot of they positive just, and stuff. People hate the franchise. We're considered nah, one of the worst franchises of the last twenty years. It's well, a it's a logical yeah. prediction based on where they were last year and on a rookie quarterback. Yes, they're hearing positive things about Jane Daniels, but you got to see it. It's still going to be a rookie and quarterback. Also, people don't know about the O line because he could be great, but if the O line is terrible, that's going to really negate him. And their defense was horrendous last year. The defense is going to be better. Look, the it better should coach, be better. To but answer it was Matt, Matt's horrendous. question, these people are going to be wrong. They just are. I agree with that. Now, I'm not saying Jaden Daniels is going to have a CJ Stroud type of year, but. He's going to be better than what they had last year. And the, the the entire roster is better. We've already gone through that. So these people, I, I mean, agree Mike, with that. Mike's going to be wrong. On There's this. no chance we're going to be the fourth worst team in football. I'll take all betters. No, I'm, I, 
I think we're they could get to be the fourth best. Because if they have the seven, if they have the Mike Florio seven wins, is wrong. <laughs> if they not they a guarantee. If they have the seven way. wins, they're going to be in that twenty-three, twenty-four. I range. think that's uh, more reasonable. I, I, ninety-nine percent agree with you, but it's not a guarantee that Jaden Daniels is better than Sam Howell was last year. It's, it's not, not a guarantee. A guarantee. I'm just he could ba- be a disaster as a rookie. He could be. I think he will be. Better. I think it's I, unlikely he'll be a disaster. I just. I, I don't f- think he's going to turn the ball over. You know, 25 times. PFF I, has the biggest loss for the Washington Commanders. So their biggest gain in terms of their war wins above replacement was Bobby Wagner, mm-hmm. so improved linebacker. But their biggest loss was Sam Howell. Mm-hmm. Well, if that if that's your biggest loss, I think. No. You're doing pretty good. Am I, am I am I on the island? Am I the only person that's finding this very weird, like the, the almost like a media blitz, where Jeremy Fowler is calling this offense scary, and he hasn't even thrown a, a pass in pre in, in a preseason game yet. Just basing it he's on, has his he has his coach on Times podcast mm-hmm. saying hey, you got you got your guy. Here's the one. Well, I think well he's going to say he's only going to say I know he's only going to say good things. But hold on, Maldies. I find it unusual. If anybody takes the number two overall pick as a quarterback, they're going to think we got our guy. No one's going to think we got we didn't get our guy. If you're taking him at two overall, you definitely think you got your guard. He may not be because half of them bust, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but you definitely think you got and your guy. And there should be optimism surrounding that. Yeah. There has to be. Yeah, Carolina Panthers thought they got their guy at number one in Bryce Young. Yes, and they may still. But, Maybe. But definitely. Well, it turns out they have a horrible owner that over – Override is overriding everybody that is making football well, decisions. Well, they also their roster sucked last year. Right. If you go back to the tape, you'll see people said now not to this extent because there were people that were hating on it, but people were saying, "Oh, well, this the Skins got their guy. They got Haskins. They got their first round pick through fifty touchdowns." Are right, you can weigh they, in? They got their guy. Weigh in on the MGM National Harbor listener lines eight hundred six three six one zero six seven in late June. Are you buying all the Jaden Daniels hype? Or are you more on the side of ProFootballTalk.com's 29th pre-camp power ranking for the Commanders? We'll take your calls next at 800-636-1067.